now we can alert text value okay so we're just using get element ID and then we're putting value on the end so let's just te test if that works let's refresh we'll type in test click submit and it's not working so let's uh, go back and see what we might be doing wrong perhaps if we change the value of this so I could say uh, insert uh, text say insert text dot value let's refresh that type in test click submit no nothing okay let's try um, var and let's try and refresh test submit no oh, I think I can see the problem um, we need to change this to ID as opposed to name uh, because we're getting element by ID so let's change this back to text just to keep things simple and um, we can also change that back to text there and we can remove that we don't need to declare it as a variable so let's try and refresh and see if this works hopefully it does then we can proceed with our code no it hasn't so uh, let's just go back to how we were so ID um, insert text and insert text Okay, so let's come and refresh, test, no. Um, okay, well, I can see the problem. Um, I, <laughs> I need document.getElementById, obviously. So, um, so yeah, so uh, now this is fixed. Let's go and preview this in our browser. So I'm gonna type test in here, click on submit, and nothing's working. Uh, this is annoying uh, insert text uh, let's change this back to name because I think that might be the problem now um, let's refresh uh, test no so document dot get element id value insert text name get rid of that and let's change let's see if that works Nope. Okay, so maybe this to ID. Let's refresh and A or W or something. Okay, so right. I wish I was better at JavaScript, but I'm really not. So um, please forgive me for that. Okay, so I uh, there's probably uh, lots of you screaming at the at the screen at that point, telling me what I was doing wrong. So now we've tested our value. We know how to get our value. Uh, eventually we've got this um, element by ID insert text um, I'm actually going to change this back to text now because uh, I'm going to keep things simple for the purposes of the tutorial uh, so again whatever we type in here uh, we are just displayed to the screen in the text box um, for now that's just for testing purposes so let's get rid of that after all that hard work let's get rid of it okay so now let's go into creating um, our, uh, our sorry our uh, Ajax itself so the first thing we want to do is we want to say, um, let's come in here and say if window dot, and we basically need to specify um, for different types of browsers which, um, which method we're gonna use to create our XML HTTP variable, or rather what we're gonna set it to. So we say if window dot XML HTTP request uh, and then we come down and we do something um, if that's uh, if, if that's uh, true otherwise we do something if that's false so what would we do if it's true well we set a variable called eight XML um, sorry XML HTTP equal to a new XML HTTP request so essentially what we're doing is we're checking for this first inside the window um, and then we're creating it if it's true so um, um, that's just for different browser support otherwise we want to say XML HTTP equals new and we want to create a new active X object um, and the parameter that's um, that we put into here is Microsoft dot XML HTTP now bear in mind while I'm writing this code that everything I'm writing is case sensitive so for example this uh, XML HTTP request object is in capitals for XML 
and then a capital H, small TTP, a capital R, and then the uh, rest of request is small. So ensure that for everything you write inside of here, it's uh, bear in mind that it's case sensitive. So uh, if you end up with it not working, just double check the case next to what I've done.